Hello, welcome to another video. In this video we're looking at the things that I take with me on a multi-day winter hike. Which is something that I've got planned. So normally you'd wait for sort of spring, summer so you get a lot of daylight hours to hike in but I have some plans. I have plans, it's, a, it's roughly a week long hike. And so I've put this kit together to, it's sort of a compromise between warmth, and lightweight so I thought I'd let you have a little look before I head off on the hike itself. All right mate, firstly look we'll go for the boots. The boot of choice is my lower renegades or lower renegades, I never know how to say it. And these are waterproof, <clears throat> unlike the trail runners, which my thought was if you if you're using the trail runners, you accept that they're gonna get wet and then dry off quickly, but in winter they would get wet and then they just wouldn't dry, my feet would get cold. Um, it's just not cool. So and on the hike I'm going to it's quite a well trodden paths it's not there won't be any really long grass or anything so my feet should keep relatively dry so we're going to go for the lowers one pair of socks these are all this is just the things that i'll be wearing while i'm going darn tough socks love them a hat just any old hat not shout out nor the monk uh, gloves these are the trek mates with the a sort of reinforced bit in the middle there for with your walking poles and those on the finger there so you can use your electronic devices. <laughs> My underpants, shout out Nordic Outdoors. Got a couple of different pairs of these. <clears throat> Sacks underwear, if you know, you know. And on the top we got my t-shirt, it's just a crag hopper crag hopper t-shirt and then above that this is my sort of my base layer shout out Nordic Outdoors again, it's a Acclima Merino wool lightweight base layer and then I'll just use it, I've got a puffer jacket in there that I'll just chuck up at the top of that and then my trousers, you'll have seen these before for anyone who's regular and these are me uh, montane mountain pants so everything's a lot different to when I did the Cape Raft trail things are geared around warmth and relatively dry not like the Highlands of Scotland where I was up to me I was up to me nut in water a lot of the time onto the outside Oosh. me hiking poles with some duct tape round there because you never know it always comes in handy. These are the black diamond hiking poles with the cork handles. Eesh. Don't know exactly what make they are mate but I'll leave a link to everything below. My rucksack. Oh she's got a bit wet because uh, there's a lot of snow and ice on the ground over there. <clears throat> I'll show you. If you don't believe me look. There you go look. Been snowing. This is the Gossamer Gear G420. I've done a separate review of this, which I'll I'll place up here now or there that you can have a look at. What's that? So 5.9, 5.9. So in the outside of the bag, I have access to me uh, to my puffer jacket, which is the it's the Patagonia lightweight. What is it? I don't know, it's like micro light or, anyway it's a super lightweight one, I'll leave a link below. And then also in the outside, waterproof stuff. Got this which is a, it's a collaboration, Ron Hill and Mountain Equipment. It's a Shake Dry, Gore-Tex, very lightweight, very waterproof as well. Also on the outside of the pack, my Berghaus Deluge waterproof trousers. 
all quick to get at. On the outside of the pack as well, I have two of these bottles on one of the sides. Smart bottles. And the good thing about this pack is that one side of the uh, one side of the outside pa pouch is lower and it's cut on an angle so you can reach back and grab your bottles. And I'll have two in there and I'll just rotate them and fill them up as I go. The other pocket on the outside, that's my tent. <laughs> very small, very lightweight. It's the Gossamer Gear the one and that just fits perfectly in there and frees up a lot of room on the inside of the pack from the other stuff here's a little tip for you not a tip but a little mod that i've done or that i'm doing at the moment is uh these little loops here on the corner instead of having to tie them out separately which i've done in the past sometimes we just like a little twig or something like that uh you take some shot cord we'll just tie it off Real simple knot actually, because we don't want to, we don't want to have to it'll be stuck on forever, but there you go. Simple like that, and then, say about that long. Just a length like this, maybe a foot in length, because it'll always, it'll always stretch, stretch out and then we're going to put a loop in the end there do that on all four corners and it just saves you saves you messing about it's got a top zip on it which i've got my garmin in reach mini which i'll not need for this trek because i'm not in the wilds but <laughs> paid a lot of money for it mate so i might as well take it because you never know you never know best to be safe than sorry and then got a shit shovel in the top there I mean, knife of choice. Boom. Spyderco. That's a Spyderco bug. <laughs> Very lightweight. I just use it to, like, uh, open my freeze-dried meals or just to cut and slice little things. It's not going to be exactly battening or anything, but... It does what I need it to do, and it's super lightweight. Right, let's have a look in goodie bag. So in the top, I do I keep everything in this rubble sack, which is a I think it's a 45 litre rubble sack to keep everything extra waterproof. First thing, the possible bag. I run through this quick. So we've got wipes, um, water purifier, which is the um, C knock or whatever it's called, or knock. Brilliant thing. And then in that, I've got the uh, Soya Micro Squeeze. Links below for everything anyway, but there it is. The first aid kit, which has got a, a mirror, tweezers, um, pain relief tablets, uh, compedes, like lastoplasts, just in a Ziploc bag. Very lightweight. Bamboo toothbrush and mini toothpaste in there. Me tux. I shall have a look, eh? Why not? My tux long handled spoon for getting into the bottom of freeze dried meals. And Nick, oh, I've got my, I've got a new one. Look, the other one finally gave up the, finally cacked itself. The other one, it would almost worn through. So it's just to light my fire, fire steel. So the hike I'm going to do is going to be about five or six days. So I've got a few of these hand warmers, which it's just in case they don't weigh much at all. And you just chuck one in your sleeping bag on a night and it's still warm in the morning just to get your hands going, your fingers going. So that's worth it for me because as well, if I, see, if I walk past a B&B &B or a pub or something and I, and I fancy it, I'll just stay there for the night, see how things pan out. I don't like to plan things too much because it takes away takes away the element of adventure for me. And I like to be a little bit spontaneous. What else we got? Cut kit. We've got stabiliser for the gas. MSR Pocket Rocket 2 and a Turks 
titanium 500 milliliter pot with a lid in there as well and that'll fit my gas canister all going there. I only need a small gas canister because there'll be plenty of places to eat en route. But I will take a couple of freeze dried meals just in case. Oof. Pink sponge. Just as a towel and to mainly just to wipe the condensation off the inside of the tent because this time of year condensation is a thing. Trichology pillow. What's this? These are my, oh. So I'll have all my clothes on, them other clothes. This is just sort of for when I get to camp. There's my camp. Yeah, come on. There's my camp shoes, which I've showed you that before. It's just um, it's two bread bags. <laughs> just two bread bags, and you, you put them over your socks, and then on back on with your shoes if they're wet. Shouldn't be too much of a problem this time because the, the lowers are waterproof, but for the weight of it, it's worth bringing. Spare pair. Spare pair of Zacks. <laughs> Spare pair of darn tough socks. I'll rotate the socks as I go. Just need two pairs. And then uh, I've got me thicker, uh, these are like Acclima Merino wool. These are slightly thicker than me, uh, the ones that I took on the Cape Raft Trail. And again, another Acclima Merino wool top. And that's got an integrated hood in it as well, so perfect. Perfect option for when you're snoozing. Get them in there, because I don't want to be having to muck about again, do I? <laughs> Flying through it. I like doing these, because in a way as well, it, it's me reminding myself if I forgot out. Because you always type like, what about this? I'm like, you're right, mate. I didn't think. So, for winter, here we go. Nature hike, down trousers, or pants, I don't care what you say. You call them what you will. Pants, trousers, leg condoms. Oh, the Robin! Where is he? Oh, quick. There. There he is. Look at him. Ah, oh, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, side note, I'm training another Robin to land on my hand. That's the Robin I'm training. <laughs> it's coming nowhere near my hand, but I'm leaving millworms on that stump. And uh, I rarely see him go on there, see, and so that was good. Uh, I've totally got sidetracked. Yeah, these are me down trousers, pants, whatever you want to call them, leg sheaths. And I've got a little snood in there as well. For on night. It gets card. Uh, I mean, mat of choice on this one has to be. A bit of a bulky unit, but that's the Thermo Rest X Therm Extra Large with its bag that you can use to blow it up. Because again, winter, condensation and, and whatnot. And I used it a lot, that bag on the Cape Raft Trail, so happy days. What else? Ugh, bag of choice, look. New bag. The Rab Neutrino 600. Is that it? Yeah. Rab Neutrino 600. Um, and then I'll have a couple of maps with me because why not? I mean, an, an OS downloaded onto my phone. And then just maybe some trail snacks in the belt. I'm not going to take a chest pouch. Don't really need it. As I say, it's only five or six days. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, mate. It brings its own challenges of um, just hiking. Maybe hiking in the dark for some of it and having a decent torch. 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 Wait there, we've got torch in our torch is the the Petzl Bindi, very lightweight indeed. And I will need it. I mean I never used a torch on the Cape Raft Trail because it's time of year and and whatnot, but I'm imagining I'll be doing a bit of night hiking. Because it gets dark at like half three four and you sometimes you don't want to stop then and have to spend that many hours in your tent, so who knows, I might end up just batting on it dark or staying in a and b or whatever. Whew. Right, sorry I've, I've not been putting many videos out of late because my truck died on me and it's caused me all sorts of 
problems, which I won't go into, but I've not been able to get out doing any filming. Uh, videos have had to take a bit of a back seat. Uh, I'm hoping to get it back in a, sometime this week. Uh, and when I do, I'll be going off on a, a long distance hike. So if you want to stay tuned for a multi-day hike, click the subscribe button. You'll be notified when I upload that. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you're all uh, taking care of yourselves, looking after each other, looking after your noggins and your hearts and your shins and your elbows and all that sort of stuff. Take care. Much love. Bye for now. Take care of your shins. What the... Oh. See you later, mate. <laughs>